Hey girlies, welcome or welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to just be giving you guys a girl talk. We are just going to have a great time. I'm just going to answer those questions. I posted a community post a couple hours ago and asked you to leave me some girl questions that you have. And I got a few of them and I'm super excited to answer them. So basically, I'm going to be becoming your big sister for a few minutes and answering your questions that you have about boys, relationships, your period, just every girl thing happening in the world so obviously i'm 14 years old now and some of you girls on here are probably older than me or even younger than me so if i don't answer this the way you want me to answer it and you want me to go more in depth just leave a question in the comments and i will answer it but before we do start i just want to go ahead and talk about today's sponsor Okay guys, so today's sponsor is Dossier. So if you guys haven't already known and went to my channel, I have actually partnered with Dossier before and their perfume is literally life changing. It's so amazing. So Dossier is actually an online perfume company and it reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting all the expenses in the infamous brand tax. They have a risk-free system allowing customers to try the new perfumes before committing to them. So every bottle comes with a small sample that you can try and wear before unselling the 15 millimeter bottle. If you would like to return the scent, they offer a standard 30 day return period in which you guys can return any unsealed 50 millimeter dossier perfume and get a full refund, no questions asked. So the affordability of the dossier perfume is $29 crazy while the designer scents range up to 50 to 280 dollars crazy so they have great deals up to their website that go up to 25 percent off for a discount code and also free shipping for three plus bottles so basically you get a luxury perfume for literally less than original price it's half the price like that's amazing you can get a 29 dollar perfume other than $280 perfume. Like, that is crazy. So, I'm going to show you the perfume they sent me today. So, it just comes in a cute little box, and I'm obsessed with receiving their dossier boxes because I just think their packaging is really, really cute. And so, the scent that they sent me today was Florential Vanilla. So, also in your box, it will come up with a little paper that talks about its dupe and everything about it. And that's what I love reading about it is everything about the perfume that I just received. So, this perfume is actually based on the YSL Black Opium Ia Day perfume. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. But it's by YSL and you can get it in just this bottle for $29. Like, why wouldn't you want that? So before we get on to this girl talk video, I just highly recommend that you go and check out their website because this smells amazing. Like, it smells awesome. I, it smells really, really good. Like, it smells just like the other perfumes. It's just less you know less price but before we do get on to the girl talk video make sure you go to check out their website which will be linked down in my description you can also find them online and the discount code i have for you guys is jordan v 10 for 10 percent off so that's 10 percent off 29 dollars of a 50 millimeter bottle which is really good and so just make sure to check out their website and um comment down below what perfume you end up getting if you do so let's go back onto the girl talk video and girls you need perfume that's part of the girl talk video get perfume it's gonna help you a lot in your life perfume just makes you smell amazing so let's do it thank you so much dossier for sponsoring today's video also i do want to say that they are having a lot of their christmas sales going on but you might see this video just a little bit late because my macbook is currently malfunctioning imovie is not working for me but when i do send out the video make sure to go to my description and check out the website because there's going to be a lot of deals coming so stay tuned um yeah let's go ahead and get back onto the video so the first question is your first period story so Oh, this is gonna be interesting. So my first period started when I am arriving home from a football game that I decided that I didn't want to go to. So I think it was either I got told I can't go because we had plans or I didn't want to go. I don't know what it was. But anyway, I was heading back home from practice and I was, I thought I was gonna get ready to go to a football game and go watch my school play. But as I go into the bathroom to do my makeup and skincare and just get ready, there it happens it's just there i used the bathroom and it's just there it's there it was very it was a very scary moment for me because i knew i just i knew it was coming i knew it was going to be any time this week because i just had major cramps i was just i had mood swings and i had mood swings even though i wasn't on my period like i was just 
I'm just I'm a moody person but I just knew it was happening that week like I just I literally knew it and I was like no no please no and so then I yelled for my mother she did not come so I yelled even louder and then she was like what and I was like it happened <laughs> and then she was helping me out and then everything was fine and honestly it's not like it's not like a traumatizing period story it's just like a simply there it was what do I do call your mother and we're done it wasn't like a very traumatizing one like most people have it was just a very easy one so I'm very happy I did not go to the football game because that would have been <laughs> very bad and I wasn't prepared at all and I should have been prepared so I just want to give you more advice be prepared be prepared carry a little pouch with you with all the girl products that you need and you can also ask your friends because I'm pretty sure some of your friends will have them and do not be scared because if you are scared it's literally like there's nothing to be scared about it's just part of growing up like just don't be scared so yeah that was my first period story. Also, if you guys are wondering, I am in my pajamas because it is currently 6.48 and I'm very tired, but I decided I wanted to film this video because I just felt like I haven't been able to talk to you guys personally. Okay, so the next question is, how do you know when your period is coming? Honestly, for me, I knew it was coming because I was having major cramps. I was just, I was literally just dying. Um, my mood swings were going all over the place and I was just, it was just, it felt, it just felt like you will be able to feel it. Like I was able to feel it. Like it was, it just hurt really bad. I just felt sick. It just, it really hurt. It will give you headaches and that's when you know, like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is happening. So just make sure you're prepared and carry a pouch around. So the next question is, how do you deal with period cramps? And how you can deal with a period cramp is a heating pad. Heating pads are really amazing. They're life changing when you have your period because I remember using one of those and it really helped me so much. And I still haven't bought one to this day. I actually need to get one. But when I went to the nurse's office, I used one of those and they're really, really helpful. They're literally life changing when you're on your period. So I do recommend getting a heating pad because it will help you when you're on your period and have cramps okay so that was it about periods that's all the questions you had for me so now we're gonna go on to the next category which is fake friends so the first question is how do you handle fake friends slowly ghost them literally ghost them just slowly move away from them fake friends they suck I have had plenty of fake friends and they talked bad about me they did stuff they they were literally they were so fake just fake people are they're gonna be fake there's gonna be fake people in this world and the good news is if you have good friends they will stand up for you and help you through your pain and so the only way I the only advice I have for you to get rid of your fake friends is to slowly ghost them slowly move away from them because it will get bad it will literally they all they do is talk crap about you and they'll use you for your money your don't waste your time they'll literally do anything they can to use you and they're gonna be completely fake a hundred percent so my advice for you is slowly ghost them. okay the next question is how do you deal with rumors about you Ooh, baby mmm my hmm rumors that get told about you really hurt your heart really really bad I've had plenty of rumors about me that were so I just don't understand what I don't know it just makes people so happy when they get to talk crap about people and spread rumors about them it doesn't make sense to me like it you, you get what you want but the other person gets hurt really really bad because you want to go spread rumors and it's all lies and then nobody believes that person so my rumors that people have told about me it they really hurt me i lost a lot of friends because they all they all believed them which doesn't make sense and that's how you know that they're fake is because they went for the person that was spreading rumors about you other than yourself they didn't even think to have a moment with you and talk to you about what was all going on it, like they didn't they didn't have that conversation with you which doesn't make sense to me that that is how you know they're fake is once they leave when someone tells them something when people spread rumors to you about other girls about boys about sports about your your singing about anything like i have been spread rumors all about that like oh my gosh jordan she literally she's not that good of a singer and i'm like 
Why, thank you. Thank you. You can go the doors that way. You, you can leave. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that because it really hurts my feelings. Then they'll go up to my friend. They'll be like, no, you shouldn't be friends with her. She did blah, 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 blah. She did this. She did that. She was talking about you. Like, I just don't understand why rumors, why rumors are like that. Like, whose business is that to tell? Like, no. Mm -hmm. So, the way you just get rid of rumors is just get rid of those fake people, like I said before. I mean, it's just slowly ghost them. Slowly ghost them. Tell your side of the story, the truth, and then just leave the conversation. And if you get involved in more, just keep on leaving the conversation. Okay, so that was it for the fake friends and the period categories. So now we're going to go on to the boys. Okay, boys and girls, you don't got time for boys. You literally, you don't. You have your own life. You literally, there's some, there's something with middle schoolers and high schoolers. High school's a completely di different, 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 like, it's a whole different, I don't know, world, dimension. It, it's different. But middle schoolers, oh baby. I have a lot of friends that like a boy. They have problems, and so they'll come and talk to me about it. And I just find it very different. It's because... You have a crush and go and tell my friends about it and just talk about it, then they wouldn't care. They would just be like, no, whatever, whatever, whatever. And they get one, they'll come to me and they'll talk about it and I'm like, do you want me to care? But then I realized, Jordan, you are stronger than that. I don't know where I'm getting to this, but the point is, boys literally suck. And so I was like, Jordan, you are stronger than that. You you do not need a crush. You don't you don't need this. You just you can wait till high school. You can you can wait until later. You can focus on yourself right now because that's most important. I am in middle school and my goal is to focus on my grades, my friends, my family, my sports. Period. That's what I'm focused about now. It's a new year, it's a new me. We're absolutely done, and I recommend a tip for you guys is to get rid of the boys in your life that ruin it because it's it's not fun. I just feel like it's just a waste of time for you. And like, I'm being like completely serious. Like, you'll go through that phase in middle school or high school where you think you'll like someone, and then it just turns into a lot of just drama because other people get jealous, then you get jealous, and then it just starts turning into major problems. So that is a sign where you should just wait. You should just not worry about it right now and you should just worry about yourself because I know for me, I have no time for them. There's literally, like, the person I am today without them, that's incredible. I have a YouTube channel and I do not care if people make fun of it because I, I, get, I get made fun of a lot for having it. But if you compare my success to them, it's a lot more than they think it is. But my point is, I just really think that you should focus on yourself. Like, if you have plans for your life, focus on yourself. Okay, the next question I'm super excited to answer because I know a lot of you guys are inspired by me, which literally makes my heart melt with like love because I'm I'm so I'm so happy that I have the eligibility. Is that a word? I don't even know. That I am eligible to inspire you guys. For those who want to start a channel but get made fun of it, or those who already have a channel get made fun of it, this is for you. How do I success in my channel if people make fun of me and I want to quit. Literally ignore them 100%. Ignore them. Get them out of your head. Literally do not let them into your head because I know so many people that are going to be like, oh my gosh, Jordan, I'm watching your videos. I'm such a big fan. I'm like, no, you're not. You're literally making fun of me. Like that literally, unless you sit home and you just get that notification, you're like, oh, Jordan, Jordan posted and you go and watch it. Then that, that makes me happy. But when you're like, once you see my eye and you, you pull out your phone, you're like, Jordan, look, I'm watching your videos. I'm like, no, you're not. You're literally making fun of me and it's not funny. And then when they're like, mm, I'm going to be more successful than you, I'm going to be like, okay, I, I don't care. You need to ignore them because you can do so much better than that. And I am so proud of you no matter what you decide to do. But let me just tell you, keep on going forward because more is going to happen. You're going to have sponsorships on your way. You're going to have subscribers on their way, fans. And soon one day, hopefully, you will be able to post the kind of content where you can go around freaking Hollywood and get photographers and you have all the paparazzi around you and have all your fans wanting to take photos and that is the kind of success that 
is a dream to come true when you're a YouTuber. And I feel like the easiest way to start is to just get a camera, put it in front of your face, and just say something, and that is how you succeed. That's literally how you succeed. That is my tip for when you have a YouTube channel. Ignore the people, grab a camera, say what you want to say, post it, and you'll succeed. Okay, so that was basically the only question for YouTube. And so the next question is about styling yourselves and how to look pretty, which I feel like you shouldn't ask me that question. How do I look pretty? Like, you literally are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, so the next question is, how do I dress pretty plus what are some styling tips? So honestly, I feel like whatever style is you, then that's you, that's your way of being pretty. So in order for you to do the style you want, you can get inspiration. So I recommend getting inspiration from Pinterest, YouTube, um, Instagram, Visco, whatever like app you use to go scroll through people's pictures and look at their stuff, then you can get inspiration from them. But one thing I do recommend if you wanna have a good style is to just not copy other people because if you try to copy this one person or this one influencer, then you're that's not you. you you, you can get inspiration, but I just don't think you should copy them. There's two different meanings between copy and inspiration. Inspiration is you getting ideas of what you want to visual, like a visualization of what you want to wear. Copying is literally putting on the same outfit they have. So I just think that those two things you should really like focus on is your inspiration and your copying. So I really do think that if you want to have a good style, you can get inspiration or you can literally just be you, grab clothes out of the closet, put them on, just be like, oh my gosh, I'm literally gorgeous because you are literally you're gorgeous and pretty so just don't even think about being ugly like don't even don't even care what other people say because i know there's a lot of people out there that are getting told that you're ugly that you're not worth it that you shouldn't be with this boy this girl i mean there's so many so many things happening in this world oh my gosh you're too good for us you know you can't do this you're mm, you don't qualify i know there's a lot of people that struggle with that but i just want you to know that you're literally gorgeous and i love you so much and also on my mirror i have the word gorgeous written on it because it just reminds me every day that i am gorgeous and that i am made the way god made me to be which is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so you write down a positive quote that you want, a positive word, mine is gorgeous, and comment down below which yours is going to be. And I just wrote it on there with an X marker because it just comes right off. So if you want to join this little idea I had, you do it and tell me what your word is. So that was it for today's little girl talk series. I'm going to have more of these and hopefully we can just continue to grow into the questions and I can be able to answer them as your big sister for a few minutes. That was... That was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I answered some of your questions and if I didn't, please comment them down below. And then that's it, that's that's it for today's video. I really enjoy talking to you guys. Um, for a few minutes as girl talk, it just makes it feel, feel more personal and more able to talk to you about it. So that was it for today's video. Make sure to like if you guys like this and subscribe because you know, you should totally join the family. It's just, it's really amazing. It's a really amazing channel. Highly recommend you join it. And also if you did not like the video, please do not do anything. Turn your post notifications that way you can get notified every time I post a video or a community post. So yeah, that's it for today's video and I love you guys so much. Bye. Happy New Year.